Tides work spans about 160,000 acres and a number of the communities surrounding it. And in order for us to do all the work we want to do, sometimes we need help. We don't have the manpower and the resources to get out and do this research and monitoring ourselves. So when we make partnerships with people like EPI, it allows us to do these whole monitoring programs that we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. But seagrass is really important. It's a food source for the manatees. So we did a survey. It was some transects we laid out and we were counting things like percentage cover and biomass within a number of quadrats along those transects. So for the water quality monitoring, we use a number of different pieces of equipment. Uh, we use a pH meter to calculate the pH. We use a YSI meter, which works out the dissolved oxygen content in the water. We use um, what we call a Secchi disc, which works out how the turbidity of the water, so how clear it is, how easy um, it is to see, and what the sediment is like in the water. And finally, we use a refractometer, which shows us the salinity of the water. So this morning we did a manatee survey, so we go around in the boat and we're basically looking for different signs of manatees, whether it's evidence of feeding or whether it's the little mud plumes that they send up to the surface. Um, we also see them, you know, coming out to breathe and things like that, so we were looking for manatees this morning. Local communities are at the heart of conservation. Um, they're the people that rely on these resources and they're the ones that really see the true value in it. Um, not just in an intrinsic way, but in a, in a real, like, they depend on it for their lives. And so it's really important for us to involve local people, because um, once they understand um, what's happening around us, we're able to work together to create sustainable outcomes for the future. So through the partnership with EPI, we're able to get a lot of Belizean students out to see these areas, to learn about the work that's going on down here, um, and learn more about their own country um, and to experience these things right in the field. So we're building a generation of new scientists and new environmental managers that will help to sustain this country in the future.